Okay, welcome to section 9.1. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is going over probably the most important concept in chemistry, and that is the mole ratio. So the first thing what I want to do is look at this balanced equation we have here. Now if you notice up here, this equation says that I've got four molecules of ammonia will combine with five molecules of O2 to make four molecules of NO and six molecules of H2O. Right. Well, let's say we had 10 times that mole. So I've got, that means I would have 40 molecules of ammonia, 50 molecules of oxygen, 40 molecules of nitrogen monoxide, and 60 molecules of water. Okay. Now those amounts are not anything we can really deal with. We, uh, we have to deal with a much larger amount if we're going to be um, being able to manipulate uh, certain amounts. So we deal with a mole. Okay? So really for us, what this means is that 4 moles of ammonia will react with 5 moles of oxygen to make 4 moles of nitrogen monoxide and 6 moles of water. Right? Now here's just a hypothetical question. Look at this one I have right here. I've got 400 molecules of ammonia. How many molecules of, of water would be made? Okay. Take a moment, pause the video, and scratch out an answer. Okay, hopefully you did that. Well, if you look at the way the ratios go, 400 is the same as having 4 or 40 or 4 moles. So if you had 400 molecules of ammonia, over here you would have 600 molecules of water. Right. And what that leads me to is this: what this ra uh, ratio is all about. We call this the molar ratio. Okay. And the way we read it is, if I look at uh, the two coefficients between ammonia um, and oxygen, in this case it's 4 and a 5, okay, I would say the ratio between ammonia and oxygen is 4 to 5. Okay. If I want to look at the ratio between ammonia and water, I would call it 4 to 6. Now, the, the great thing about doing all this is mathematically, we're not going to do anything new. All right? We have a new step, this mole ratio thing, but we're not going to do math any different. So for those of you that struggle with this stuff, the good news is it's going to be very similar to what you've been doing. So let's say, for example, that I've got 5.6 moles of ammonia, and I'm going to run this reaction with a whole bunch of oxygen. Okay, the question says, how many moles of water will be formed? Well, all i got to do to solve this problem is look at that ratio. For every 4 moles of ammonia, I get, I'm going to make 6 moles of water. So, just like we always do when we cross-cancel, whatever unit is there has got to go down here. All right? And whatever unit I want to find is going to go on top, and that's the water. Okay? So what I do with my calculator, I take 5.6, I divide by 4, and multiply by 6 to get 8.4. Or you can multiply by 6 and then divide by 4. The order doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer. But what that tells me, because I've looked at the ratio from the balanced chemical equation, is that tells me how many moles of water would be formed with that starting amount. All right, so let's look at another one. Let's say this time I have 9.2 moles of oxygen, and I want to find out moles of nitrogen monoxide. I look at the ratio of oxygen to NO. It's 5 to 4. Okay. I make sure that whatever unit is here is down there, so they can cross-cancel. Whatever unit I want to find is on top. So with my calculator, I go 9.12 divided by 5 times 4. I get 7.3. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's see if it does. Try this problem I have right here. You've got 21.9 moles of water. Okay. And we want to figure out how many moles of NO um, you would produce. Okay. Take a moment and do that problem. Pause the video and I'll write the answer in just a second. Okay, hopefully you did that. This is what I would do if I were working out the problem. Okay, I would go ahead and look at the ratio up above, and I see there that up here in front of uh, water, there's a 6. So I'm going to go 6 moles of H2O. Okay, 
And then in front of NO is a 4, 4 moles of NO. So when I work that problem out, um, I get 14.6 moles of NO. Right. How's that work? Did you get that? Well, let's go ahead and try another one. Take a moment, pause the video, and try this one. Okay. So, did you do it? I hope, Hopefully you did. Okay. I look up here. There's a 5. 5 moles of O2. I'm trying to find moles of ammonia. And there's a 4. Okay. And that one equals... Oops, it turns out that I did not calculate that out. So, 4... For a second here, 0 0.968 times 4 divided by 5 equals 0 0.774 okay, moles of NH3. There you go. Okay. Now this is a really handy thing. And like I said, mole ratio is a super important concept. But we usually aren't dealing with moles. Typically, we're weighing out grams of stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the grams we've, we've been given, and we're going to find moles. You guys have done that many times. You're good at it. And then at the end of a problem, we're going to have moles, and we're going to convert it to grams. And again, you've done that many times. So, let's look what I have here. Okay? This is, uh, I call this getting in and out of moles. Okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I've got 5.6 grams of ammonia. All right? Now, I'm going to change... Here's our first step. I'm going to change that into moles. Ammonia weighs 17.07 grams per one mole. Okay, again, we're talking about cross-canceling, right? Now I have moles of ammonia. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mole ratio. Oops, uh-oh. Computer's going a little slow there. Okay. And look at the ratio. It's two moles of NH3. 3 moles of water. Now, you know, that I don't want to confuse anybody. Maybe we should do it like this. Maybe it's really 4 to 6, which is the same as, as 2 to 3, right? Okay. So I do that, and now moles are canceled of ammonia, and I left with moles of water. So what do I do at, at that point? I go ahead and I turn my moles into grams by multiplying by the molar mass. Now moles of water are gone, and there we have grams of oxygen. The important thing about all this, okay, whether it looks confusing or looks really easy, is just remember, okay, you have done this step right here many times. You've converted grams to moles. And you've done this step many times. You've converted moles to grams. The only new thing we're doing is this right here, this mole ratio. So don't panic when you do a problem. Look at the problem I have right here, number four, okay? And pause the video, try it. Uh, I'll just... Okay, so I've got 51.9 grams. That's the starting amount. And go ahead and pause the video and try and do this problem. Okay, let's see how you did. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, if you look up here, I'm going to change to moles, okay? So one mole of NO happens to weigh 30.006 grams, okay? What's my next step? Mole ratio. So the mole ratio for this problem is for every four moles of NO, oops, every four moles of NO, I have um, five moles of O2. And then last but not least, for every one mole of O2, it weighs 32.0 grams. And if you work that problem out, you would have got 
69.2 grams. Now for those of you that got 34 or something like that, I want to emphasize this right here because most likely what you did is you wrote the molar mass for oxygen as 16. And the thing you have to remember, if you look up here, it says O2. It doesn't say O. So something you want to remember, those seven diatomic elements, you don't want to forget that. Okay, let's move on to another one. Now go ahead and pause the video, try this problem, and see if you get it. And then I'll go ahead and write out the answer. Okay, let's see how you did. I've got 152 grams of ammonia. First thing, find my moles. One mole of ammonia is 17.03 grams. The mole ratio for ammonia to NO is 4 moles of NH3 to 4 moles of NO. Now in your calculator you really don't have to do anything because that's 1 over 1 so we're fine there. And then 1 mole of NO is 30.006 grams and that gives you an answer of 268. And again, I want to emphasize, if, if, you're, if you're getting lost, watch what we're doing. We're just simply cross-canceling every single time. It's three steps, but it's all about cross-canceling. All right, let's try one more and see how you do. Pause the video, give this a shot, I'll write it out. Okay, let's see if you get the right answer. 152 grams of ammonia, a lot like last problem, one mole of NH3 is 17.03 grams. The mole ratio from ammonia is 4 moles of NH3 to 6 moles of water. And then the very last step, 1 mole of water is 18.01 grams. Okay. If you work that out right, you should have got somewhere along the lines of 241 grams. Okay, so there you have it. If it makes sense to you, great. If not, come and see me. We'll practice some problems and uh, hopefully get uh, any, any questions you have straightened out.